everybody was kind of running with the Dable's going to be gone after this season talk, after the first four weeks when we were putting up 30. Josh was putting up 300, 400, 300, 400, 300. Like, everybody was talking about that. Not a lot of people were talking about the fact against the Jets that Josh still put up 300 yards. We just couldn't seal the deal. And everybody wants to blame Dable that we couldn't score a touchdown on the New York Jets. Okay, let's let's bring it back a little bit. Dable doesn't run the plays. Dable doesn't catch the ball. Dable doesn't block on offense. Dable doesn't pass the ball. The Jets game not being able to get in from the red zone is completely execution. It's 100% execution. And it's something that we talked about last year, something we talked about 2018. You can call the best play in the world, but if Dawson Knox drops a pass when he's wide open, if Josh Allen can't see Cole Beasley wide open over the middle for an easy first down, if the run game's not working because your offensive lineman just can't get it in place, that's execution. If you have a false start on a third and four that's now a third and nine and you can't execute the third and nine, that's not on Brian Dable. Now, I will say it was nice this week to see how we came out in the second half and put up points. So that's a positive. Um, Let's talk about the Titans game. Let's talk about the Chiefs game. What happened in those two games? And I alluded to it back in the beginning of the show. The Titans dropped seven in coverage. The Chiefs dropped six or seven in coverage. The Patriots dropped six or seven men in coverage on every play but one. I posted it on our, on our, our Instagram story. Um, I think I posted it on Twitter. Teams are making Josh Allen figure you out. The first four weeks, it was free reign. The Bills don't have an offense. Oh, shit, they just scored 34 points. Next week, the Bills don't have an offense. It was a one-off. The Bills put up 30 points. And this happened, and then finally the Titans figured it out. So there was no way to see that all of a sudden Josh Allen in this offense was going to hit a brick wall. It wasn't play calling, okay? Maybe, maybe, maybe a small percentage of it was Brian Dable's play calling. But a lot of it was the fact that the defense has flipped the script on our offense. We haven't been healthy in the offensive line. We haven't been able to run the ball. That's not on Brian Dable. That's the fact that we're injured up front. There was no continuity up front. Cody Ford's injured. Uh, Quentin Spain wasn't playing good. Um, Brian Winters wasn't playing good. Um, We got injuries all over the place. Feliciano was out. So I think from going forward from last week, you're going to see us be try to be a run heavy team and take what the uh, what the defense gives us on offense. Is there going to be games where Josh is going to have to throw 40 times? Absolutely. We have teams that have offenses that are just going to put up 40, 40 or 45 pass attempts and put up chunks of yards. We're going to have to pass. But I think we need to dial it back in. Everybody was talking about how good Dable was, and then everybody's talking shit about Dable. Now everybody's talking about, well, what do we have with Brian Dable? We don't know. What do we have with Josh Allen? Is he regressing? What's going on? This is why the season is 16 games. You can't just take one game and dissect it and say that Brian Dable's trash. Um, But I do think that getting the run game has been going has been a priority since week one, and we haven't. So we passed. We passed well. When they took that away, the offense completely stalled because we couldn't pass. We couldn't run. We figured out how to run last week. So now let's see if we can put together a full package. We have eight more games. We have the half the season left to figure out our identity on offense. 